Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Greg. Go outdoors. Hey, we're gonna go to a private pond and uh, see what we can get. Pop a few holes. I'm only gonna spend maybe an hour or so there, but my buddy says there's plenty of big fish. So we'll see if they're willing to bite. Hang around. I stopped at my buddy Dave's. He's going along. And, uh, you'll find out that this is a private pond. The landowners do not live in the area. Um, he says that it's, uh, not posted. But, he's fished there. The Amish, they fish there. And, uh, I guess there's supposed to be some big lunkers in there. But well, I guess we'll find out. It's it's only about 32 degrees out, maybe 35, but it's going to be windy today. So we're gonna no shanties. We're gonna be out sitting uh, sitting on the ice. I ain't gonna drag my shanty in. He says it's a pain in the ass getting it in there anyway. But. Let's see how this pans out. Well, we made it. We're gonna give this a shot. I'll give you guys a, a view of what we're looking at here. It's a, supposedly it's a private pond, but it's not posted. The people don't live in the area. Uh, the neighbors that are down around the corner maintain it. But uh, I'm here with my buddy Dave. You seen him in a couple video, uh, video back when we went fishing down on Lake Wilhelm. Uh, you'll see a lot more fishing there uh, this coming summer, but we gotta, we gotta, we're going minimal. We're just dragging what we need, and uh, we're gonna see how, what we can snag out of this uh, this little pond. So let's get at it. <laughs> that deep, quite a push. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dave's going out a little deeper, drilled a hole over by these uh, fallen trees. And uh, he's going to punch a couple holes just to see. I don't think he's running that thing at full throttle. I think I'm going to need to 
turn up the R's on that thing. Yeah, he's going to run like two, three holes out through there. I don't know how many he's going to punch, but I'm jigging. I'm in about four and a half feet of water. So we're going to keep moving ourselves out and see what we find. Well, the professional YouTuber that I am, I bring my cord power supply for my phone to find the, if it dies, I bring a tripod, but no way to connect my phone to it. Professional is at its best. Well, we came out and Dave says we're in about nine feet of water, but check this out. There's a ledge, and how 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 deep is the ledge? Three or four inches? Yeah, three inches is good, three inches. And then that main ice is... Good six inches. Yeah, six inches, but... How, how, how thick is the top layer? Two, about an inch and a half, too. Yeah. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't care for that crap. Because you, you go through... This was an old hole, though. This was, I pre-drilled up. This was a pre Oh, okay. Uh, so, we we'll want to take over that one, see what Yeah, we'll go over to the other next hole and just see what it... Check out this one. Yeah, we'll go out, for, go out further. This is sketchy. I don't care for having double layer. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't my game. Now, I don't mind if it has like three or four inches of white ice on top. But that gap. That gap is what spooks yeah. you. So this is a fresh hole. He drilled in a pre-existing hole, so it's possible that that's just uh, uh, from that hole being open and warmed up the sides of the hole and, and opened it up. Yeah, there's a little little edge, huh? Yeah, that's 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 good solid. That's good solid edge. Okay. That ain't too bad, but there's still some of it. Yeah, that ain't too bad, but when you get a four four to six inch gap between, yeah, yeah, that's good. you go through you go through, <laughs> you're gonna be up over your ankles with uh. Water. Water, and that ain't gonna be fun. No. <laughs> That's when you just pack it up and say, "I'm done." Ooh, I'm getting a getting a tick, but I just put a Swedish pimp on. Oh, so hopefully we get something. There you go. Take it. I am trying to do this one-handed guys since I forgot to bring my phone holder for my tripod <laughs> I can always prop it up somewhere come on take it Took my bait. Sorry about the wind, guys. Like I said, I'm using my cell phone. Well, there you go, guys. Pretty nice size bluegill. Look at the colors. He's he's pretty light colored. But uh, I was using. We'll put him down there. I was using the jig spoon. A little bit of flash with some capped it with some uh, waxies so we're gonna try for some more well yeah we spent about two hours on the water on uh, the hard water uh, I got two and uh, Dave got three we also catching them on a uh, jigs and uh, spoon what do you well it's like a trouble crappy rig with a spoon using the BC Bait Co. baits um, 
Dave caught two on them using the red pick, pick horns. I caught the one on with the black terry bug. So if you want to check them out, go to bcbaco.com and uh, use the promo code GOBC15 uh, in your checkout. You'll get 15% off your order, plus you're only $1.50 shipping. And you can check them out on Facebook also at BC Bait Co. Custom Baits on Facebook. Uh, tell Bo, Bartholomew, and Chris Hatfield that I said yeah, I sent you. And uh, we're going to go clean these fish. Since I played bluegill. <laughs> Small fish here. Yeah. Takes a lot to make a meal. I know. That's why I say when you said you wanted to give help half yours, I was like, man, that's just. You need to dip your water. There's a little bit of warm water there. They'll probably get slack from. Subscribers from holding a bastard. You can't blame it on the old microphone, it's brand new. Huh? <laughs> I'd have kept the mask on, covered your face up. <laughs> See if you cut them parts off, I'll take that part off for it. Yeah. Let it flat along the skin. Yeah. Outside hands are getting cold. Take a little break. We only got what? Two, four, six, eight more. Mm -hmm. Take a little break and then finish them up. Yeah. We got ourselves some going. Yeah, we kicked her out. We got a decent little amount. We're going to split it up. Oh, heck yeah, that'd make a decent meal for. I ain't got nobody at the house right now. That'd be a decent meal. You and I would be feeling <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got to clean up the boards and put stuff away. And uh, make our make our decision on when the next time we're going out. <laughs> well, there you go. We got her all done. Cleaned up. We're going to split it up. I'm going to throw mine in the freezer. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll eat it tonight. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But thank you guys for watching. And as always, uh, give me a thumbs up and not the finger. Leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you guys. Always try to reply to my comments, and it's an easy way for me to find your channel. Uh, click that subscription button. It's right there. Smash the bell notification beside it. That lets you know whenever I post a new video. And we'll catch you on the next one.